Hey beauties, welcome back to Beauty Within Home Edition. Since it is currently Sephora's spring sale or their VIB Rouge Beauty Insider sale, Felicia and I thought we'd round up products that we're currently eyeing and are going to get and share it with you guys to just share with you guys some of our finds and faves and current obsessions. Yeah, because actually a lot of you guys throughout Instagram have asked us for suggestions on what you guys should also try out or what you should be focusing on in terms of like really utilizing the sale because I think it does only happen about twice a year at around this time and end of year. And we know, although we are in quite interesting times, not everyone will be frolicking to get skincare, but we also need to take a look and re-examine our routine and after taking some time to like figure out our skin and body what we need and funny thing because I've been really practicing minimalism I'm Same. like an insider like I don't even I'm the lowest tier <laughs> I lost my rouge status I'm so sad I know right I went from like rouge to insider so fast and I ain't even mad on the new in page and also the best sellers page of Sephora we realized that we've actually tried a lot of them so we're gonna give you our dish on what's I guess something that you should try from that page if there are any noteworthy ones yes We've got a mixture of skincare, lip care, hair care, so just the whole like variety. So there's definitely something for everyone. So let's just start off with face, shall we? You want to kick it off? Okay, the first thing that I'm eyeing is the Amora Pacific Essential Cream Fluid. So the Vintage Essence, this one, is done. It's like completely done. Nice. So I actually got this from Neiman Marcus because they had a 25% off. I don't think they have it anymore by the time this video will go up. I got like the jumbo size, that's 175 for like 130. But I've been eyeing the Amore Pacific Essential Cream Fluid for a long time, especially because this is something that Leo raves about a lot. Wait, so is this the cream version of the essence? No, I think this is something completely different. It's nutrient-rich cream, refreshing, fast, penetrating fluid-like texture, antioxidant nourishment, one-step lightweight. I think this is a very creamy fluid. I don't know why I like it. I just want it. And that's sometimes all we need as a reason. <laughs> Yeah, I think because the Vintage Essence works so well, Amora Pacific as a brand, I'm sold. So I just want to try more. And I'm curious if the cream fluid will be anything like the Laneige cream skin. It's like two adjectives that you wouldn't normally have placed together. Yeah. Cream fluid. So I'm excited to try that. Okay, so I share one with the you. Um, so you know how me loves my double cleansing, right? So Inky List has, I just saw on their page floating around mm. that they have the oat cleansing balm. Yes. So this is the first step of the um, double cleanse method where you go in with a balm or oil to really melt down the residue on your face at the end of the day. Um, and the reason why I love this, much like the whole First Aid Beauty line, is because it has 3% oat kernel oil and 1% colloidal oatmeal. So oatmeal and the oat kernel oil is really good at soothing inflammation, mm -hmm. itchiness, rashes i tend to always get rashes at least like every quarter you know just from like trying different products or like using too much chemical exfoliants and things like that so this one really tickled my fancy it's only 9.99 like all of inky list is pretty like the staple you know it's pretty and very affordable yeah and then just looking through the comments a lot of people have also seemed to enjoy this cleansing balm which is a good sign and it comes in a tube so i'm excited to try this one. That's the first step of double cleansing, which is like oil based to melt. And then you would follow up with a water based cleanser, which is more your traditional cleanser that you would think of. The second step that you would use. So I threw into my cart the Summer Friday Super Amino Gel Cleanser. Ooh. So if you guys haven't watched our older videos, I love Summer Friday's Jet Lag Mask. That's their baby. And they recently, yeah, came out with a bunch of products. They even came out with a lip product that I had no idea about. A lip and a vitamin C serum, right? This one I'm super intrigued by because if you've watched the live that we do for the members and a video that's coming out on Sunday, 
I mentioned the amino acids in cleanses and how that really helps to restore and rebuild your skin barrier, keeping it healthy. And amino acids are the building blocks of collagen, our skin basically, um, building blocks of youth. Ding ding. Um, so this one is $38. And honestly speaking, that aside, I am just living for this color. <laughs> <laughs> it is really beautiful. I feel like all of Summer Friday's branding is very clean. But it says it's good for all skin types, um, especially for dryness. Some reviews are saying it's average, try to love it. Others are like, it's great, as with all skincare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one is very on the fence, mm -hmm. although there's definitely more five-star ratings than like the negative ratings. So honestly, this is me shopping. I don't actually like reading a lot of reviews and it makes me more excited when it's on the fence because I'm like, I'ma tell you! <laughs> <laughs> Let me try for myself, don't tell me what I like. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the next one I have a Josie Moran Pineapple Enzyme Pore Clearing Cleanser. This one spoke to me because of the pore clearing cleanser. The pineapple enzyme pore clearing. I want my pores to be cleared. So I am very easily marketed too. Um, if there's anything with pores, it catches my attention. So there's pineapple enzymes, which we know is a natural exfoliant. Um, there's also marshmallow root, which helps to soften and restore skin's balance and there's 100% pure argan oil, which is what Josie Moran is known for. So I've actually never tried. You have, right? You liked it? Yeah, they're like very, I mean, they take pride in the argan oil. Mm -hmm. I tried their Dew Drop Serum, which was like an oil serum, which mm -hmm. was really good. But I never knew they came out with a cleanser, especially yeah. like pineapple. I wouldn't ever associate Josie Moran with a pineapple enzyme. Yeah, <laughs> this is so new that there's zero reviews. So that's that. Okay, I threw in the Origins Dr. Andrew Mega Mushroom Relief Resilient Soothing Treatment Lotion Limited Edition. Oh. And boy, are we suckers for limited edition packaging. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so this one I've actually wanted to try for a really long time because we go on and on about the health benefits and the immune boosting and supporting benefits of things like chaga mushroom, reishi mushroom. It's like basically an anti aging essence when you you eat it. The fact that it's formulated in this lotion and it's designed for all skin types, dry, combo, oily, normal, and it says to help alleviate dryness and redness, which is definitely something I have lately. I don't know if it's age related. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. It um, looks like a green juice, like a bottle of green juice. Yeah, it does actually. <laughs> so it's similar to an essence or a toner, but it is called a lotion. Reishi has been known in traditional Chinese medicine to be like the mushroom of immortality because it is so anti-aging with all its benefits. It also has fermented chaga, which chaga mushroom is known as the king of mushrooms. So you have this whole concoction of just like very potent antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, soothing, healing, everything that you want um, in like an elixir of life. So I'm hopping on this bandwagon. Nice. Another product that I'm eyeing, Sulhua Su First Care Activating Serum. I think Sulhua Su as a brand is just, they're like the epitome of mixing ancient, traditional, more like Chinese, Korean, Asian like methods and ingredients and like repackaging, repurposing and like making, what is that word? It's not that they're modernizing ancient things, but they're... They're like making it easily digestible to a younger audience. Yes. Taking ancient traditions and making it more accessible to modern life. That's what I'm trying to say. Honestly, that is like exactly what our channel stands for. So Solo Su, if you're listening, hit us up, yo. <laughs> <laughs> so with their whole line, I'm actually interested in trying everything, but I think to start, what they're most known for, at least for the more affordable range, I think is their first care activating serum. And then this activating serum should be the first thing you use on your skin after you cleanse your face, even before toner and essence. And it's supposed to help all the products that you apply next absorb better and all that. That's why it's called first care activating serum. There's this thing called the Jaum Balancing Complex, quoting a powerhouse herbal blend that replenishes essential moisture and nutrients for smooth, hydrated, and well-balanced skin. It's just what we want in our skin. Balance. 
And yeah, I feel like this, um, this specific packaging, the First Care Activating Serum, even though like this is still pretty expensive at $84, but compared to the other stuff, like the ginseng root and like the oh, yeah. stay, that's like hundreds of dollars. I think this is like a good intro to the brand. The reviews are like 4.1 out of five stars, 80% will recommend. So another thing I like doing is I like cross-referencing different websites. So I'll Google, the, you know, this specific product, Sulfasu First Care Activating Serum Reddit. So I'll like reference Reddit and then I'll reference like sometimes other retailers will also have different reviews. So I'll just reference like a bunch of different reviews before I commit to getting something. Yeah, no, I think that's important because I think different retailers will also have a very specific bias with mm -hmm. their customers. Like their customers yes. tend to favor a lot of brands mm -hmm. in different locations. So yeah, you want like, what do you call it? A, a good balance yes. of opinions. <laughs> yes. Actually, Selva Su was something that my mom is actually very interested in. I think especially the Jinzang line because it mm -hmm. is so like, it's kind of the creme de la creme yeah, yeah. of um, traditional Korean I guess it's, or Chinese. Could you say it's like La Mer of Korea? La Mer? I feel like La Mer, it, it's not rooted in like traditional um, like... That's true, it's just algae. <laughs> yeah. Okay, back to you. Back to me. Okay, so um, Quarterly is a brand that I've always been interested in trying more of, mm. but I've just never really gotten into. Like you have the Vino Salicylic Serum, right? Mm -hmm. I used to love it. I just haven't used it in a long time. Yeah, and that one's also very highly rated. So this one I found is also another, I didn't even know they had this. It's the Vine Active Overnight Detox Oil. So if you guys don't know about Quarterly, they use the grape, it's basically the antioxidants that come from grapes specifically. When I was like reading through the reviews for this, a lot of people had combination acne prone and they said this one was their like cheat product that always Ooh. restored their skin back to health and also help to like calm down the skin, inflammation. So basically a detox of life, but through your skin. And I was like, damn, I need that. It's a hundred percent <laughs> organic essential oils. Yeah, I mean like in, term, in terms of detoxifying, I don't really take that as like a literal term for our skin because it's not like that whatsoever. But I think if it's able to nourish it in a way that restores it back to health, I'm down for. And this one is $50. And I think like normally oils are a little bit more expensive because of the process that it needs to go through. Looking into how they extract the oils is also very important. And I think the higher end oils will really take care to make sure that it's not like rancid or oxidized yeah. by the time you use it. Ooh, this has really good reviews. It's mostly five It does, stars. right? Yeah, four. It's got 23,000 like hearts. And it's great for all skin types. Yeah. Fresh, rose, deep, hydration, oil infused in serum. Not infused serum, not infused in serum. <laughs> yeah, so this is Fresh's new serum. It's so fluffy. Honestly, when you say serum and oil, like, I'm instantly piqued. Yeah, you know, this is just so unique. You don't really see oil infused serums that often. It's usually just serum is serum or oil is oil. Oh, no, there's like also the toner from Sioris that has oil. Oh, there's also a new Ake Prem has the mist that's green on the top. So yeah. I think actually we're seeing, a, seeing more of these like yeah. oil infused water based mm -hmm. skincare products. This promises to deliver up to 24 hours of hydration for dewy looking skin that's visibly plumped with moisture. Sold. <laughs> Lightweight oil, 4.8 out of 5 stars, 99 would recommend. Wow. That's interesting though because I think it literally just came out. Like how did yeah. these people get this so quickly? <laughs> Also, one of my favorite, like, is not even skincare, it's their bloody balms, I tell ya. <laughs> it is so good. Like, oh my gosh, I've gone through, I have two of these. Um, <laughs> so good. This is my ultimate favorite lip balm. This is the one they did in collaboration with this girl. Um, I forgot the name, but like, you could put little stickers on it. 
This is the sugar caramel. Smells so divine. Oh, a shout out that we have to mention is the strawberry scrub that Fresh has. Whoa, mm. whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. You guys gotta get that. Cleanser, face cleanser. Yeah, like that is our ultimate favorite. I brought it back home to Australia and my mom was like, this is divine. And then she kept it. <laughs> Um, but they came out with this new range of different lip balms. So I have the blood orange here and the lime. So the thing is, it's just the consistency of it. You know how, so Rowena's gonna mention the Tatcha in next week's video, but that one doesn't really stay on and hydrate and nourish as much as these do. They smell like a dream. They apply like a dream. Oh, and it's just so nice. The lemon smells like a key lime tart, right? Like, oh. their formulators, they should get a raise, I tell you, just for this, like, lip balm. So the next one is a mask from Summer Fridays. It's their R&R. &R. And I only put this in I my have basket. It. Oh, yeah. Um, so I actually wanted the other one, the other mask. They sold it. R&R. No, but oh. they have another one, yeah. And oh. it's not the jet lag. It's not the R&R. &R, it's this other one. It's and the it pumpkin one. Hair. Yeah! Have you used it? I actually have not, but I can show it. Okay. Is it the one with the beads? It is, right? Yes. Oh. It just has like a lot of them. Um, like you can see that in there. Lots of stuff in there. Okay, so this one has a vitamin C derivative called tetrahexadecyl ascorbate. And we see this a lot and it's a very stable form uh, derivative of vitamin C, which can offer very similar effects as the pure l ascorbic acid, just without irritation. Oh, the bees are pretty um, aggressive. Ow. Is it? It's dry. Maybe it's just dry on my hands. Yeah, the ratings are like okay. It's only 3.9. But it's kind of like your Amore Pacific because I love the jet lag mask so much. I want to like try their other things. It smells like fresh stuff because there's just rose. Yes, there's Bulgarian rose in it. That specific type of rose, it's like extra beneficial and extra juicy. Yep. Your turn. My turn. So next, I'm going to talk about three things together because they're all from the same brand. It's time for me to restock on Dr. Jart Sika Pear cream because it's pretty much out so i'm gonna get that and the one quick mention the dr jart had this sika pair kit on sephora that i don't know if they like either they ran out or they just can't deliver anymore um but that is the most frequently gifted skincare thing that i would gift like all of my friends who have gifted anything to, I think this is just like go to, no matter what your skin type is, you can benefit from using Centella Asiatica. And especially if it's like inflamed or if it's red or, you know, dry, anything you can, anyone can use this. So that's the first quick shout out. And then the two things, the one thing that I really want to try is their cryo rubber masks. Oh yeah. It's the one with like the giant baby. Yeah, so I want to try all of them, and they're expensive. It's fourteen dollars per mask. Holy! I saw like I don't know. I mean, there's no really other time that something like this will be on sale, so maybe I'll try like two. And I wonder like what the difference is between the cryo rubber and this the shake and shot because I got some of this from Yes Style. It looks pretty similar. It's like the same baby. And if I were to try these, I would probably try the brightening one with vitamin C and the moisturizing one with hyaluronic acid. So there's this that like I want to try. And then there's the sheet mask, the Derma, the Dermask Water Jet Vital Hydra Solution. It's what I need for my very dehydrated face. So this one specifically I've actually used and I think I'm starting to go through all of them because I got Dr. Jart's like over the holidays they had this seven day of sheet mask kit where they give you seven sheet masks and then I'm going through all of them. I would feel like I feel like this one so far has been the best one. Yeah. I was always like curious about those rubber masks, so let me know. Okay. Yeah. So I'm I wrapped done. up with skincare. Same. Yeah, I'm done as well. High five. High five for face skincare. Okay, so next I have two lip products and hair products but before i want to just mention like if you guys are wondering what you should buy from there 
these are kind of my honorable mentions. Okay, so Pharmacy is a brand that is that we love for a really long time. That's known for their echinacea. Um, and it's farmed like upstate in New York actually. And that's kind of like their proprietary, like prized ingredient. So from them, they just came out with this Daily Greens oil-free gel moisturizer with moringa and papaya. 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 But this is a silicone-free, oil-free daily moisturizer that's lightweight. And whoa, it's so good. They say- It is so good. Oh my God. And it smells like, like a sherbet mint green. It does. Apple. Yeah. In terms of the application, the way it makes my skin feel, I really enjoy it. Four types of hyaluronic acid. Mm, that's and why. And then this is great for people with normal combination and oily. It's great for pores, dryness, and oiliness. But I feel like even for me with very dry, dehydrated skin, this works in the morning. And I think this will work great in the humid summer months in New York City. That's why when it comes to like them labeling it for a specific skin type, don't take it as like um, Bible, you know, because it is kind of just there as a reference and if you guys are looking for a at-home spa mask i really love the honey potion like a lot a lot and this heats a up a lot it literally heats up on your face and turns it into does this, and like, doesn't it turn white yeah yeah all right next two i have our lip products i got two one's from jouer cosmetics which is a hydrating lip oil and the other one is from nars it's their afterglow lip balm so they're kind of two different things one's a tinted lip balm one's a nourishing lip oil and i feel like we need both um i'm really into lip products these days because for some reason i'm perpetually perpetually thirsty and dry <laughs> So for mine, these are still very full, but I would just recommend if anyone is looking into lip care products, Clarins Lip Comfort Oil has been one of my favorites. But I would say honey is like the sheerest. It's kind of like literally my skin, but better. Um, these are very lightly sh tinted, sh sheer. What would, what would you, how would you say this? Yeah, it is, it is quite sheer. It does give you some color, which is why I really like it. It's pretty similar to what you had as well. Um, and they look, the packaging looks exactly the same too. This is just more expensive. This is $26. Next one for me is matte lip stain from YSL. I love lip stains. I'm wearing this one right now. It's, it's very, very light. So I think what you can do is like, if you want it to be very dark, you can just swipe it fully across and then blend it. What I do is I just get the tip of the, the applicator like this. And then I just use the tip of it to dab like three dots on the inner like bottom lip. And then I'll lightly blend it out and then, and then just do that. This one is the black red coat in deep burgundy. It also has like a, it smells like wine. Yeah. Bordeaux. So. <laughs> yes. My self sensorial full package experience. So I really love this. If anyone, yeah, I don't know. The one color that I want to get is um, the coral anti mainstream neon coral. It just looks so pretty. And that's it. That's it. So that is your peek into our Sephora cart. Our cart, yes. Yes and some honorable mentions that we have loved for a really long time thrown in there. Hope you guys found something or enjoy the perusing process with a little bit more guidance, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> um, but like whether and, we actually get these products, we'll see. Um, yeah. And this is my cart right now. It's like $500. I'm not going to get all I know. All this is it, too so. like excessive. <laughs> so we will like go through and cut down maybe, but that's it. And we hope you guys enjoyed the video and all the links will be down below. So you can click through that and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Blinded by the sun. Oh.